Probably one of the most troubling symptoms of Alzheimer's disease, in addition to memory loss, is the fact that people lose their language skills, both the ability to speak as well as the ability to understand the language of other people. So I'd like to talk to you about how we can best communicate with people with Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia are progressive, that is, they get worse over time, and so the language skills are going to be affected too. And it usually begins with having some word finding difficulty, the inability to track conversations, the inability to reason things out. And so for many caregivers, both families and professionals, we've got to understand where they're coming from, understand that perhaps they're not always connecting with the messages that we're sending, and they're not able to always express what they, what they mean. And so we need to really drill down and try to appreciate uh, the exact nature of where they're at with their, their language skills. So assessment is really a key, I think, to trying to connect with people with dementia. Ultimately, they may mix up their speech, their grammar, and their syntax may be uh, confounded. And ultimately, people in the advanced stages uh, may develop what we call a word salad. They're mixing up the nouns and the verbs, and they may ultimately lose their speech altogether. And so it's important then to learn how to communicate without words, really focusing on how we can connect through the senses and to make sure that people with dementia are understanding that we can be trusted, that they are not being uh, disturbed by our language or our actions. And so it's really necessary, I think, to develop language skills. That means not arguing with people with dementia, um, slowing down our, our rate of speech, uh, never criticizing or correcting, and always being patient and supportive.